Hi, I'm Nick Gallant, and I did my project on Pearl Harbor. More specifically, the kamikaze attacks that followed, along with the reaction that these attacks created. The person I interviewed for my project was a man by the name of Robert H. Phelps. He is an ex-writer for the New York Times and is the author of the book God and the Editor. Phelps has both lived and served in the U.S. Navy through the attack on Pearl Harbor and World War II. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Following this speech, FDR took the final step in bringing the U.S. into World War II, which brought hundreds of thousands of Americans to their feet as they all believed the U.S. could easily crush the small island of Japan. After witnessing this clear-cut example of American exceptionalism, I decided to ask Robert H. Phelps what he and his family thought about at this time. Yeah, it was, so, the, it was the only idea was the war is going to be over shortly. Mm -hmm. I'll be home. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Yeah. Yet their American pride was short-lived, for as the Japanese became more desperate, they resorted to more extreme measures the kamikaze. They call it kamikaze, meaning the divine tempest. We call them suicide planes, manned by pilots wearing the ceremonial red sash of the kamikaze corps. They specialize in one-way trips. Their destination, the deck or hull of any American ship under which plane, bombs, burning gasoline, and red sashed pilot can crash. These kamikaze attacks fascinated me in a way, because the U.S. had never seen anything like this before. So I decided to ask Phelps if he was able to experience the kamikaze attacks firsthand, and if he thought of them as a constant threat. Now, I just, um, I read up that during Pearl Harbor there were a lot of... Now this is a big switch. Mm -hmm. This sec next question. Kamikaze? Yes, I was in the Pacific. I was on ships and anti-com uh, against the, the Kamikaze. I was on... We had gone into... Uh, uh, into um, Okinawa. Mm -hmm. And we were... I was on a... The, the United States Navy had a, a, a circle of ships around Okinawa. The idea was to keep the kamikazes away, because they were there to, to try to, to throw us off. And there was a, they were a constant threat. There's no question about that. Scary. Mm -hmm. So Skill, yes. I don't know so much about the soldiers. Mm -hmm. I'm mostly Navy men. That. But the Japanese were so young, and uh, it was shameful in a way to think how they were training these kids out of Concord High School. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they were training these kids to do these things, uh, suicide planes. And when we finally shot one down, and we, they pulled him over to our ship, and he was there, he was just shaking with fear. He thought we were going to torture him. <laughs> and then, so he never, I don't know, we didn't hold him very long. We sent him to headquarters where they could question him in Japanese. So, anyway, that's it. All right, thank you. Thank you. Regardless of the original outburst of American pride when we first joined World War II, the kamikaze attacks proved to the U.S. that Japan, despite being a seemingly small island, was not going to back down and would fight to the very last man. Japanese attack. Mm -hmm. That's a Japanese attack. 
this is going to be a long war. Mm. Yeah. To sum up my project, I've decided to ask one final question. What is your strongest memory through Pearl Harbor and World War II? Wasn't much. Mm -hmm. I was never, the only time I felt in danger when I was in, uh, we had captured Okinawa, or we were capturing it. Mm -hmm. And our ships were going around in a circle around Okinawa to keep the Japanese from retaking it. So we went around and around and around that part of the, uh, of the effort to hold on to it. And, the, uh, and that's when the Japanese kamikazes came in. And they scared us. These sons of bitches are ready to, you know, to. To, to, to give their lives for this. Mm 